Heaven is described in the Vedic literature as Tridasapura. Tridasapura. Tridasapura means there are thirty-three uh, millions of demigods, and they have got their separate planets. This is called Tridasapura. Uh, three means three, and dos means uh, ten. Uh, thirty-three or thirty. Anyway. Tidasa pura akasa puspayate. Akasa puspa means something imaginary. Something imaginary. A flower in the sky. The flower should be in the garden. But if somebody imagines the flower in the sky, it is something imaginary. So for a devotee, this heavenly promotion to the heavenly planet is just like a flower in the sky. Tidasapura Akasa Puspaya, Koi Vallang Narakat, Gani and Kurmi, and Duddanta Indira Kala Sarpapatali, Pratkata Dangastrayati. Then Jogi, Jogi is a trend, Jogi means Yoga Indira Sangha, controlling the senses. That is Yoga practice. Our senses are very strong, just like we also, Vaishnava, which first of all try to control the tongue. The yogi is also, they try to control the senses, not only tongue, but all other ten kinds of senses uh, by that uh, yogic mystic process. So, that, why they are trying to control? Because the senses are just like serpents. Uh, a serpent, just like touch anywhere, Immediately something, up to death. Injury there must be, up to death. Uh, this is exemplified, uh, just our sex impulse. Uh, as soon as there is illicit sex, there is so many difficulties. Uh, of course, nowadays it is all become very easy. Uh, formerly it was very difficult, especially in India. Uh, Therefore, a young girl was always protected uh, because if, he, if she mixes with the boys, uh, somehow or other, as soon as there is sex, she becomes pregnant. Uh, and it will be no more possible to get her married. No. Touched by the serpent. Uh, this is Vedic civilization. It's very strict. Because the whole aim was how to go back to home, back to God. Not sense gratification. It being very enjoyable. That is not the aim of human life. So everything, everything was planned with that aim. Vishnu Aradhati, Vannasama Charvata, Purusena Parapama, Vishnu Aradhati, Nannatattu Sakaranam. Varnasam, this Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, everyone had to strictly follow the rules and regulations of the particular division. The Brahmana must act as a Brahman. The Kshatriya must, as here is it, that's Krishna says, you are Kshatriya, you are, why you are talking all this rascal? You must. Naita yubhavadvate, in two ways, you should not do this, as a Kshatriya you should not do this, and as my friend, you should not do this. This is your weakness. Uh, so this is Vedic civilization. Fight for the Kshatriya. A Brahman is not going to fight. Uh, Brahman is Satya Samadama. He is practicing how to become truthful, how to become clean, how to control the senses, how to control the mind, how to become simple, how to become full and cognizant of the Vedic uh, literature, uh, how to apply practically in life, how to become firmly fixed up in conviction. These are brahmanas. Similarly, kshatriyas fighting 
That is necessary. Bhaisya, kisi guru kshaya bani kya. So, the all these strictly to be followed. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare.